Hello everyone, welcome to a shooting breakdown. I'll be your breakdowner for the day donut. Today we're going to be talking about the August 3rd shooting of 19-year-old Devon Bailey out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. We're going to talk about this one today because it has sparked a lot of controversy and a lot of interest from activists online. Original reports of a 19-year-old black male shot in the back by police were not wrong. At that time, was all the information released or the investigation complete, including body camera footage? No, it was not. But as we all know, people don't like context because context bad just like blue man blue man bad what were people saying you might ask another young black man cut down by police violence this time 19 year old devon bailey was shot in the back while running away from colorado springs police officers i want to reiterate this point on the murder of devon bailey by colorado springs police running from police is not punishable by death mayor of colorado springs refuses to act colorado springs police fired eight rounds at devon bailey he never pulled his weapon police didn't discover he had a weapon until after he lay on the ground bleeding to his death this is straight up murder. Colorado Springs Police body camera video shows the police shooting Devon Bailey eight times in the back as he ran away. This is murder. Hashtag Devon Bailey, another black man killed for no reason. You actually see the murder and you really want me to feel sorry for any of those murderers? Hashtag Colorado murders. Just watch the CSPD body cam footage and I don't even have the words. They 100% murdered Devon Bailey. Hashtag fuck cops. Fuck all cops. Please let there be justice for once. There were even some protests about this whole shooting shortly after, of course, before the investigation was complete. The original piece of footage released by news agencies was this clip from a home surveillance system. Replies to that were, I'm not an expert, but that doesn't look like he's reaching for a gun. It looks like he's running. Yep, definitely looks like, yep, definitely looks like he's running away. Those cops are in serious trouble. Gotta be honest nowadays, video cameras are everywhere, works both ways. That boy was running away, no gun. How is there a gun in his waistband of gym shorts? Just to kind of respond on that last comment before we really get into the video, Mike the Cop did a good video showing that you can put a gun in your, in your gym shorts and it stay there. Glock 42, this is the pocket holster that I always carry it in. I always will put it there. And I'm going to tie these shorts, just like I always do. Hook. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Uh, ah, still there. So what really happened? 911 received a call from a man, the victim, who said, So I'm walking down the street, there's these two black guys. One of them has a gun, they approach me, they're like, what's in your pockets? And like, I'm basically like, at first, like I was startled, so I really was like, nothing, but I didn't say like, out of fear or nothing, then they like, then one of the guys started hitting me and I fall down to the ground. Another guy pulls out the gun and he's like, you better tell me what's in your pockets. And like from there, you know, I just kind of like told him like, I really didn't have nothing. I have a couple of dollars on me. They took that. Um, he also said, and what type of gun? Um, I don't know. It was like a Glock 23, something like that. It okay. was definitely a Glock. Okay. And where are the weapons now? They're on the people who did this to me. This right here kind of tells dispatchers that it probably wasn't a, a black stick shaped like a gun. That it wasn't an object that looks like a gun. The victim got so close to the gun that he could tell what kind of gun it might have been. That's a big clue that, hey, they probably do have a gun. The caller also described the suspects pretty well. Start with one of them. What? Uh, one's black, he's skinny, he has a skinny. mustache, okay. a white afro. There's one that's like kind of overweight, his name's Lawrence. Officers were then dispatched to a robbery with a weapon. You just got the info for a robbery with a weapon, 2438 East Fountain Boulevard, Terrace Gardens. It was a personal robbery. Any idea? Yeah, just keep up myself. calling in saying that the suspect had hit them and take, uh, took the wallet. Suspect had guns at the location, was headed down the street. In regards to the robbery, just be advised there was a black male, thin build with a afro. No further description. Suspect one is going to be a black male, approximately six feet tall, white afro, and a goatee. Um, lives by the Rosewood Apartments. Nickname is Baz. Uh, second suspect is a heavier black male with short hair. Uh, approximately 890 pounds, uh, no clothing descriptions, like I said. Hold on, I've gotten two that may match the description that proves 
the 90s degree thing. Three M sixty seven. The one with the goatee is going to be the one with the gun. Dispatch made it clear that the suspects did possibly have a weapon and gave out a pretty good description of them. Sergeant Vantland is the first to arrive on scene with Officer Evanson right beside him. Hey guys, can I talk to you a sec? What's going on today? Alright, what are your names? What's the reason? Alright, so we got a contact that, uh, keep your hands out of your pockets. Oh, sorry. Um, possible assault that occurred? Oh, Two I didn't feet. touch anything. I may not be a police officer anymore, but I can tell that that's a clue. Oh, I didn't touch what does this tell the sergeant right here? That these are definitely the guys involved, and one of them probably has a gun. Oh, I didn't touch okay. What's your name? Devon. Devon? What do you go by? I just go by. Do you go by Spaz? Okay. Put your hands up for me a sec. Put your hands up. Right. So we got a report of two people, similar descriptions, possibly having a gun, all right? So don't reach for your waist. We're gonna just check and make sure that you don't have a weapon, all right? Did y'all catch that? Watch what Devon's friend does when the officer says, we're gonna check to see if you have a weapon. <laughs> His body language just gave up Devon right there. The sergeant is covering the two while Officer Evanson comes in to pat them down, and that's when Devon takes off. As soon as he takes off, he starts reaching for his waistband. That's when the two officers open fire, and collectively they fire eight shots. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! All right. The gun ended up being caught in the fabric of Devon's gym shorts after he fell down and the sergeant had to cut the gun away. Was this a lawful shooting? As per Colorado state law and the United States Supreme Court, yes it was. Colorado state law 18-1-707 section 2 states, A peace officer is justified in using deadly physical force upon another person for a purpose specified to subsection 1 of this section only when he reasonably believes that it is necessary a. to defend himself or a third person from what he reasonably believes to be the use or imminent use of deadly physical force or b. to effect an arrest or to prevent the escape from custody of a person whom he reasonably believes has committed or attempted to commit a felony involving the use or threatened use of a deadly weapon, or is attempting to escape by the use of a deadly weapon, or otherwise indicates except through a motor vehicle violation that he is likely to endanger human life, or to inflict serious bodily harm to another unless apprehended without delay. The incident that we just watched on video fulfills those three subsections. He has committed or attempted to commit a felony involving the use or threatened use of a deadly weapon, is attempting to escape by use of a deadly weapon, and is likely to endanger human life life unless apprehended without delay. We talk about the United States Supreme Court case of Tennessee versus Garner. You can see my video on that right here. It says when a law enforcement officer is pursuing a fleeing suspect, the officer may not use deadly force to prevent escape unless the officer has probable cause to believe that the suspect poses a significant threat of death or serious physical injury to the officer or others. So what did the officers have in front of them, including the information that dispatch relayed to them, also known as the objective reasonableness standard? They got a call about a robbery with a gun, victim 
describing the suspects pretty well. Very yeah, fidgety definitely. suspects. Oh, Devon yeah. tells on himself. Body language points to Devon having a gun and the suspect fleeing and reaching towards his waistband. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Do you think the officers were wrong in shooting him? Do you think that they could have done anything different? If you want to help support the channel, you can do so by checking all the links in the description and in the pinned comment below. Other than that, I hope everyone has a fantastic day.